we're about to talk about the topic of strategic planning. And it's a tough topic, I'm gonna be honest with you, and it's not tough because it's, it's difficult, it's tough because you have preconceived notions of what's, what this is going to be about, and it's gonna be uh, difficult for many people to unlock. So let's start with a fundamental parameter here, or, or baseline, is that what you think and how you think are tied. And in order to exemplify this, I'd just like to bring up the topic or the, the terminology we use of strategy and tactics. We use these words all the time, you use them in meetings, and for just a moment what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to define for me what strategy is. Try it. Write it down. I'm not gonna give you the answer yet because I want you to write it down, I want you to think about it. Some of you are having a lot of trouble with this and others of you are saying, well, I know exactly what it is. Now let's do that with tactics. Okay, think about this for a minute. If you're in a group of people and they all have different definitions for the same words, how, how do you get along? How do you work? It's, it's as if you have one person speaking Swahili and the other person speaking French. They won't understand each other. What if there was a common language? So let me give you some answers that I've gotten when I've asked this question of 300 people in an audience or working with an executive team. Some people might say that, well, strategy is a plan. It's blocking and tacking. It's vision, mission, goals. It's an outline. I've had other people say to me when it comes to tackling, well, I mean, to tactics, it's a roadmap. It's a plan. It's actions. Did you hear what I said? I use plan on both of them. Some people consider strategy to be a plan and tactics to be a plan. They can't be. They have to be different. So if you say we're going to work on strategy, they're confused. They're confused about how the planning process works. And, and, and let, me go, let me give you an example. It's so working with an organization. We're sitting in a room. We're talking. There's a CEO, the VP, and some, uh, two other people. And we have this one individual we're talking to about strategy and tactics for her, or for her role. We start asking these questions. And through the entire time, the CEO says, well, you understand, and you understand, and you understand, and you understand. And I'm sitting there saying, there is no way this person understands. So when I'm done, I say to the individual, and to them, she doesn't understand. He said, no, 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 she understands. I said, no, she doesn't. And I said, could you repeat back the message that he's trying to get across? And wouldn't you know, it was so far off base, you didn't even know she was talking to the same person. So I worked with her and worked with them a little bit just to get clarity because I was there not as a speaker or a trainer. I was actually part of the team. We needed to achieve a desired outcome. And when we were done, she was able to articulate what was the strategy and what were the tactics. And the room was better connected. Now, that's huge. And it's huge because we use planning as one of these activities every day. And if we have a a, a miscommunication, a misunderstanding of verbiage, we can't move forward. Now let's, let's accelerate this. What happens if we could? What happens if the two of us had the same language when we were talking and working on a new military application? Or we're working in, a, in an educational environment and we're trying to create a new course? Or we're working in a nonprofit and we're trying to, to, to feed more people? What if we could do this well? Well, what would happen was we would eliminate silos because multiple people will be able to connect with one another. We would be versatile in our thinking and not just our planning but our thinking would change. You'd probably develop more options. That's phenomenal. Different ways to approach the challenge and possibly some even better uh, answers than you had before. We'd create a common language within the organization using the same tools, using the same wording. And that's one of the things that enterprise thinking or paid to think delivers is a new language that everybody can agree on. And we can eliminate errors that can sometimes even develop into great new innovative ideas. The time is shifted, the energy is shifted. It's simple enough to know that the commissioner or the person taking care of a park has one common language and it will benefit everybody in your organization. So what we're going to show you over the next few videos, next few demonstrations, is advanced strategizing, advanced planning. And once you see it, you won't return back. This is going to be fun.
Looking forward to it.